Hey Aries, this is your mid-July reading. I hope that you're well and enjoying July. So let's just jump straight into your reading. Spirit guides, assist me in connecting to Aries for mid-July. What are the messages I need to share? May all messages be to the highest good of all involved with harm to none. So I just want to say thank you Aries for your engagement for my last Aries reading. I appreciate you and if you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. All right, let's go. What's the message for self for Aries spirit, guys? When it comes to self. So you got the Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, the King of Cups. So there's this newness. Y'all feel there's a freshness to y'all. There's a sense of celebration as well three of cups maybe surrounding yourself with like-minded people i feel like y'all are connecting to y'all self spiritually um there's a lot of celebration here for y'all aries lots of drinking happening here just be mindful of what you consume don't overindulge but generally i get a sense of well-being here a sense of luck as well this ace of pentacles maybe a new opportunity presenting itself y'all feel generally grounded i feel Yeah, there's just a general sense of happiness for y'all's reading. Is this the Ace of, no, the Three of Wands? Yeah, general sense of happiness and I feel like y'all feel optimistic about your futures. All right, let's see. What's when it comes to romance and love? You got the strength card, the page of pentacles, the king of wands. Is there a Leo y'all are connected to? A potential Leo coming forward and offering some kind of love, romantic gesture towards you. Um, they know exactly what they want. They want you. They're coming towards you, Aries. And I guess like y'all would connect being fire signs together as well. But there's some kind of message coming through for you, Aries, in mid-July. And there's a need for you to just allow things to unfold. Don't try to control the situation. The conversation is coming. Whatever, if you've been waiting to have a conversation with somebody or, you know, to express yourself or some waiting for somebody to come forward and express themselves is coming. All right. Don't try to force it. Let's look at your money. It's a message for money for, for Aries for spirit guides. All right, loves, you got the two of swords and the high priestess. So some kind of decision regarding your money. There's a need for you to see beyond what you're being shown. All right. Ask questions. Ask and, and, and do your own investigating here. Give me one more card for their money. The Eight of Swords. Yeah. So when it comes to money, don't just jump into things. Ask questions. If something seems a little bit too good to be true, it could potentially be there's something here that you need to, cu to cut out. There's something here that could potentially trap you in some way. So if there is, again, I said this to another sign before. I don't remember. I think it was Taurus. But I was just saying, if there is, if you're approached about some kind of get rich quick scheme, avoid it like the plague because it could potentially trip you up. If it seems too good to be true, it's possibly a little bit too good to be true. You got the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom. So this is observing, this is moving slow and taking your time with things. Don't fall into anybody's trap here with money. Don't do it. Give me, give me business and career for, for Aries. All right, you got the Queen of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. All 
Give me one more card for their business and career. And the Nine of Cups. So Aries, when it comes to y'all's business and career and your money, like slow and steady wins the race. Take your time, all right? Take the necessary steps to grow organically and authentically. Nobody could take that away from you. When you try to do, you know, get rich quick schemes and, you know, trying to cut corners, it will always butt you in the ass. There is something here that's a sense of luck happening here in your business, potentially crossing paths with the right person at the right time, some kind of collaboration that can turn out really well for you. It's like a sense of luck when it comes to business and career that will take you in the direction you want to go in and make you very happy. This is something you've been working towards. You've been taking steps towards it, step after step after step. And this is more on the up and up. It might take a longer time than the, Ooh, the get rich quick scheme, but it's long lasting and it will take you where you want to go, right? And nobody could take that away from you because it's real. The page of swords at the bottom. So this is truth. Nobody could slander your name or, or say that you, you know, you, you, you are fraud or da, 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 because you did it the right way. It might take longer, but nobody can take that from you, Aries. Your first card is the Ace of Pentacles. So that in itself, and this is this is your uh, your first first card for this reading is the Ace of Pentacles. So an opportunity presenting itself that could be quite lucrative, quite lucky. There's a grasshopper on this card, which is about luck. Luck and growth, and then there's celebration and sets of happiness all around. So yeah. All right, let's get some oracles. The first, I'll pull a card for your first section, which is the self. Give me a card for, Pike, for Aries, sorry. What's the message for Aries? All right, love, so your card is, it's up to you. you want to do what do you want for yourself what, what do you what are you calling it for yourself communicate clearly recovery at the top and helpful people so maybe you have an idea and it's about crossing paths with the right person because i see there are three people here having some kind of like conversation and drinking and all that so maybe you need to connect with other people to get what you want. Let's see, let's get a Law of Attraction card. It's a message for Aries. Is this two cards? Are you serious? I just did Pisces. They got two cards. Now y'all got two cards with these Law of Attraction cards as well. So the better my story gets, the better my life gets. And money isn't everything but dot, dot, dot. So the better my story gets, the better my life gets. Begin telling the story of your desire and then add it to the details of the positive aspects that you can find that match those desires. And then embellish your positive expectation by speculating with your good feeling. Wouldn't it be nice if... Examples. You can say things like, only good things come to me and I'll figure it out as I go along. Every time you tell your better feeling story, you will feel better and the details of your life will improve. The better it gets, the better it gets. And I find it interesting, this is a whole book, the high priestess looking through a book. That's interesting. 
that's like knowledge isn't it discovering something all right um, money isn't everything but you are right when you think money isn't everything you certainly do not need money to have joy in your experience but in your, in your society where so much of what you live is tied to money in some way most of you associate money with freedom and since freedom is a basic tenet of your being then coming into alignment with money will help you establish a balanced footing that will be of value to you in all other aspects of your experience. Okay, money isn't everything, but 1221 when I looked over. Message for Aries. message for Aries spirit guys thank you you and your loved ones are safe new moon in, in cancer surrender to the divine confidence is your key to success new moon in Leo and a time for healing balsamic moon okay so let's get your love card message for Aries it's a message for Aries spirit guys to make you like pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you separation time apart from your partners on the horizon Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So I see a message coming. I see some sort of conversation coming. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. It's like, remember, we all have red flags. So not only the other person's red flags, but your red flags as well. Um, time apart from your partners on the horizon. So that might not necessarily be a bad thing. Sometimes you need a little bit of space in order to figure out things, right? I don't feel like if there is this heavy energy here, I feel like if there might be this sense of too much control, trying to control things, trying to control other people as well, maybe even trying to control your own emotions um, in a way where you're suppressing yourself from love in some way, right? Um... Aries, that's your message. I hope these messages support you. Let me know. Drop a comment and all of that good stuff. And check out some of my other videos. This should be somewhere on the screen somewhere at some point. And um, check out the playlist and all that. All right, my loves. Enjoy the rest of July. Bye-bye.